this is a really fish China situation. Ever wondered how Chinese farmers manage to produce billions of fish every day? Well, it's tough. Fish farming comes with its challenges, from keeping the water clean to ensuring the fish stay healthy. Yet Chinese farmers persevere, using innovative methods, and get this. The fish farming industry in China is worth billions of dollars, so how do they do it? How good are they actually? And how can the world learn from the fish farming center of the world? Join us as we look at how Chinese farmers raise billions of fish every day. Fish farming in China stands as a testament to millennia of agricultural innovation, evolving from rudimentary practices to emerge as a powerhouse within the nation's economy. With a history stretching back over 2,000 years, this industry has undergone remarkable transformations, now occupying a pivotal role in global seafood production. The scale and significance of fish farming in China are truly awe-inspiring representing not only a substantial portion of the global aquaculture output, but also a cornerstone of the nation's agricultural and economic landscape, accounting for an impressive 60% share of the world's aquaculture production. China stands as an unrivaled leader in this vital sector. Delving deeper into these numbers unveils a remarkable reality, as on average, each person in China enjoys a per capita supply of fish and fishery products totaling 36.2 kilograms annually. This abundance not only speaks volumes about the efficiency and scale of Chinese aquaculture, but also underscores its crucial role in meeting the dietary needs of its vast population. However, the significance of this industry transcends mere statistics. It serves as a lifeline for millions of individuals, particularly in rural areas where aquaculture operations provide employment and sustenance. Approximately 4.3 million rural workers are directly engaged in various aspects of fish farming, from pond management to harvesting and processing. For these individuals and their families, aquaculture represents not only a source of income, but also a means of livelihood and economic stability in regions where alternative employment opportunities may be scarce. Really fits China's situation and the government is very much supportive to the development of the system. Indeed, beyond its economic impact, fish farming in China plays a vital role in bolstering food security, alleviating poverty and fostering sustainable development in rural communities. By harnessing the country's abundant water resources and leveraging technological advancements, Chinese aquaculture continues to serve as a beacon of innovation and progress in the global food production landscape. The landscape of Chinese fish farming is diverse, encompassing both freshwater and marine aquaculture ventures. Inland freshwater aquaculture dominates primarily employing pond culture techniques. Here, a multitude of species thrive, including silver carp, bighead carp, grass carp, and common carp, alongside tilapia and eel. This sector alone yielded a staggering 17,782,734 metric tons of freshwater products in 2003. Venturing into the vast expanse of China's coastal waters unveils a thriving marine aquaculture scene. With a production total of 12,533,061 metric tons in 2003. The total production of China's aquaculture now is about 46 million metric tons. Marine farms cultivate an array of species ranging from mollusks and crustaceans to seaweeds and marine fish like sea bream, milkfish, and grouper. Economically, Chinese fish farming stands tall among its agricultural peers, serving as one of the fastest growing sectors within the nation. Its significance transcends borders, playing a pivotal role in both domestic sustenance and global commerce. China's exports of farmed shrimp, eel, tilapia, shellfish, and seaweed form a substantial portion of the world's seafood trade. Central to the success of Chinese aquaculture are the key species cultivated with precision and care. 
In freshwater environments, commercially vital species such as carps, Chinese bream, tilapia, and eel thrive, while marine farms boast a diverse array including cobia, Asian base, milkfish, and pompano. Beyond its borders, China's aquaculture industry reverberates on the global stage. Its contributions extend far beyond sheer volume, impacting the very structure of dietary habits, ensuring food safety, and fostering innovation in fisheries growth models worldwide. Essentially, Chinese fish farming embodies a rich tapestry of history, innovation, and economic prowess. Its journey from ancient beginnings to modern dominance exemplifies the potential of human ingenuity harnessed in harmony with nature. As a key player in the global aquaculture landscape, China's legacy in fish farming continues to ripple across oceans and economies alike, shaping the future of seafood production and consumption worldwide. As established fish farming isn't the easiest of ventures, what are the issues it faces? And how does a country like China fight back? Stay tuned to find out. Therefore, it is very important for the user to upgrade the existing technology. The rapid expansion of fish farming in China has undoubtedly brought forth a plethora of issues and controversies that demand careful consideration and proactive solutions. From environmental concerns to social implications, the challenges surrounding Chinese fish farming are multifaceted and complex, requiring a comprehensive approach to address them effectively. One of the foremost environmental issues plaguing Chinese aquaculture is nutrient enrichment. The fertilization of water bodies, coupled with organic matter mineralization and the excretion of organisms into ponds, has led to the alarming accumulation of nitrogenous metabolites, notably ammonia. This influx of pollutants poses a significant threat to aquatic organisms, disrupting delicate ecosystems and jeopardizing the health of waterways. Moreover, the introduction of exotic aquacultural species has triggered a cascade of ecological impacts. These non-native species often outcompete indigenous counterparts for resources, disrupt natural habitats, and propagate pathogens, thereby undermining the ecological balance of ecosystems. Concurrently, agricultural and aquacultural activities have wrought landscape and hydrological modifications, resulting in irreversible alterations to natural environments and hydrological patterns. The pervasive use of antibiotics and chemicals in fish farming compounds these environmental concerns. This is because the runoff from aquaculture facilities contaminates local waterways and marine ecosystems, imperiling marine life and compromising human access to safe drinking water. Additionally, the routine administration of antibiotics raises red flags regarding the emergence of antibiotic resistance with far-reaching implications for both human health and environmental stability. The impact of fish farming extends beyond environmental realms, encroaching upon wild fish populations and ecosystems. Sea lice infestations, rampant among farmed fish like salmon, pose a grave threat to native species, precipitating population declines and ecosystem disturbances. Similarly, the introduction of foreign species into novel environments disrupts local biodiversity, fostering competition, spreading disease, and disrupting the delicate balance of ecosystems. On a social front, the welfare of aquatic animals and the well-being of local communities are subjects of increasing concern and scrutiny within the realm of fish farming in China. This is because the practice of maintaining high stocking densities within aquaculture facilities presents a significant challenge as it imposes stressful conditions on the fish inhabiting these confined spaces. In such densely populated environments, fish are prone to heightened levels of competition for resources, increased aggression, and compromised water quality. These stressors not only compromise the physical health of the fish, but also diminish their overall welfare and quality of life. Furthermore, the geographical proximity of fish farms to shorelines worsens tensions between aquaculture operations and local communities. This is primarily because, as fish farming facilities encroach upon coastal areas, residents often find themselves grappling with the adverse effects of environmental degradation and social upheaval stemming from these operations. As demand grows for seafood, the business of fish farming is growing. 
environmental degradation manifests in various forms, including pollution of waterways, alteration of natural habitats, and disruption of marine ecosystems. Such degradation not only threatens the delicate balance of local ecosystems, but also jeopardizes the livelihoods of communities reliant on marine resources for sustenance and economic prosperity. Sadly, the proliferation of fish farms along coastlines gives rise to social conflicts and tensions within communities. Residents living in close proximity to these facilities experience firsthand the adverse consequences of aquaculture operations, ranging from unpleasant odors and noise pollution to visual blight and decreased property values. Additionally, concerns about the potential contamination of coastal waters and the spread of diseases from fish farms to wild populations further fuel apprehension and discontent among local inhabitants. In response to these challenges, local communities often mobilize to voice their grievances and advocate for greater accountability and transparency within the fish farming industry. We'll make China's aquaculture industry have better use of water spaces. Community-led initiatives may involve lobbying for stricter regulations, engaging in public awareness campaigns, or even resorting to legal action to hold fish farming operators accountable for their environmental and social impacts. These efforts underscore the importance of fostering dialogue and collaboration between stakeholders to achieve sustainable and equitable solutions that prioritize the welfare of aquatic animals and the well-being of local communities. Today, the burgeoning fish farming industry in China is fraught with a litany of challenges, from environmental degradation to social discord. Tackling these issues demands concerted efforts to implement sustainable practices, mitigate environmental impacts, and foster harmony between aquaculture operations and surrounding ecosystems. Only through collaborative action can China navigate the complexities of fish farming and forge a path toward sustainable and responsible aquaculture practices that safeguard the environment, uphold animal welfare, and nurture thriving communities for generations to come. So how does China mitigate these issues? And with so many issues, how do they still produce so much fish? Well, let's find out. Chinese fish farming stands at the forefront of innovation, employing cutting-edge techniques and technologies to revolutionize the industry and address pressing challenges. These advancements, including recirculating aquaculture systems RAs, integrated multitrophic aquaculture IMTA, and vertical aquaponics, hold immense promise for enhancing efficiency, sustainability, and productivity. However, alongside these breakthroughs come a host of issues and controversies that merit careful consideration and proactive resolution. In recent times, recirculating aquaculture systems RAS, have indeed solidified their position as a fundamental component of Chinese fish farming, earning a claim for their remarkable attributes of sustainability and resource efficiency. Celebrated for their low environmental impact and efficient water usage, RAS have become synonymous with responsible aquaculture practices in China. By significantly reducing both water consumption and land usage, these systems not only bolster yields, but also serve as guardians of the industry's ecological footprint, mitigating adverse environmental effects. Recirculating aquaculture systems, RAS, are advanced fish farming systems that recycle and purify water within closed loop environments, minimizing water usage and waste discharge. RAS optimizes water quality, temperature and oxygen levels to create ideal conditions for fish growth, enhancing efficiency and sustainability in aquaculture operations. The adoption of RAS reflects China's steadfast commitment to sustainability as evidenced by continuous technological innovations aimed at further optimizing efficiency and minimizing environmental impacts. Shovel the sediment into their mouth using their radial tentacles. This unwavering dedication to research and development underscores China's proactive stance 
in addressing the pressing challenges facing the aquaculture sector. Through ongoing efforts to enhance RAS technologies, China seeks to not only maximize production, but also minimize resource utilization, paving the way for a more sustainable and resilient fish farming industry. And so we actually can feed our fish less to get that accelerated growth rate. Moving on to Integrated Multitrophic Aquaculture, IMTA, stands as a testament to China's embrace of innovative approaches to aquaculture. Integrated Multitrophic Aquaculture, IMTA, is a sustainable aquaculture approach that involves cultivating multiple species together in a shared ecosystem. In IMTA systems, different organisms are selected to utilize various ecological niches and biological interactions, optimizing resource use and reducing waste. For example, fish, shellfish, and seaweeds may be cultivated together, with each species benefiting from the waste products of the others. Today, IEMTA promotes environmental, economic, and social sustainability by mimicking natural ecosystems and minimizing environmental impact while maximizing production. However, despite its potential benefits, IMTA remains relatively underutilized in China, with public awareness and understanding lagging behind. This gap underscores the critical need for intensified education and outreach efforts to foster greater acceptance and adoption of IMTA practices among fish farmers and other stakeholders. Moreover, the under-researched nature of multitrophic aquaculture, IMTA, poses a challenge, necessitating concerted efforts to expand scientific inquiry and provide robust evidence of its financial benefits to incentivize broader implementation. Innovation continues to drive progress in Chinese fish farming, with vertical aquaponics emerging as a promising derivative approach. Leveraging the principles of IMTA, vertical aquaponics offers unique advantages such as nutrient uptake by plants and improved water quality while minimizing environmental impact. Vertical aquaponics is an innovative farming method that combines aquaculture, raising fish, with hydroponics, growing plants without soil, in a vertical system. In this setup, fish are typically raised in tanks positioned above plant beds. The nutrient-rich water from the fish tanks is circulated to the plant beds, where it provides essential nutrients for plant growth. The plants in turn filter the water, which is then recirculated back to the fish tanks, creating a symbiotic relationship between the fish and plants. Vertical aquaponics maximizes space utilization and resource efficiency, producing both fish and vegetables in a sustainable and environmentally friendly manner. Aquaponic systems in China have demonstrated remarkable resource efficiency by harnessing fish tank effluent to fertilize plants, thereby mitigating negative environmental consequences. Allows us to do is to take that solid waste and to mineralize it, and that extracts all the nutrients. However, despite its potential, widespread adoption of aquaponics faces hurdles such as higher initial costs and a lack of education, information, and marketing efforts. Addressing these challenges requires targeted interventions aimed at overcoming barriers and promoting the integration of aquaponics into mainstream fish farming practices, thereby unlocking its full potential to contribute to sustainable aquaculture in China and beyond. Today, Chinese fish farming stands poised at the intersection of innovation and sustainability, propelled by advancements in recirculating aquaculture systems, RAS, multi-trophic aquaculture, IMTA, and vertical aquaponics. Here, just starting their, their life as a fish growing up and getting a bit bigger. While these methods offer promising solutions to enhance efficiency and minimize environmental impact, addressing associated challenges and controversies is essential to ensuring their successful implementation and widespread adoption. Through collaborative efforts and strategic investments in research, education, and outreach, China can continue to lead the way in sustainable aquaculture practices, safeguarding the future of its fisheries and the well-being of its communities. Seeing all the smart ways China farms fish, you might wonder, how do they keep it all eco-friendly? And what steps do they take to make sure it stays that way? Coming up, we'll take a closer look at the sustainable practices and policies in place. In the realm of Chinese fish farming, a concerted effort is underway to promote sustainability through a multifaceted approach encompassing certification programs, 
water management strategies, and collaboration with international partners. These initiatives, driven by both industry stakeholders and regulatory bodies, underscore China's commitment to fostering environmentally responsible aquaculture practices while meeting the growing demand for seafood products. Recirculating aquaculture systems and those technologies take time to work. Let's explore the various facets of sustainable practices and regulations shaping the landscape of Chinese fish farming. Certification programs serve as vital mechanisms for incentivizing and acknowledging sustainable aquaculture practices within China's fish farming industry. Embracing renowned global certifications such as Friends of the Sea, the Global Aquaculture Alliance, and Global Gap, China endeavors to align its aquaculture sector with internationally recognized standards of sustainability and responsible production. Notably, retail giants like Walmart have emerged as influential champions of sustainability by setting ambitious targets for certifying aquaculture products. Their proactive stance not only shapes industry practices, but also underscores the significant role of private sector leadership in driving sustainable initiatives forward. In addition to global certifications, the establishment of buyer standards plays a pivotal role in promoting sustainability, particularly within sectors like shrimp farming. Adherence to stringent environmental norms not only safeguards company brands, but also fosters a culture of responsible production methods. By prioritizing sustainability in their procurement processes, buyers wield considerable influence in shaping industry practices, incentivizing producers to adopt environmentally friendly approaches and mitigate adverse impacts on ecosystems. Water management strategies and policies constitute the linchpin of China's efforts to combat environmental degradation in fisheries. Legislative frameworks such as the Fisheries Law, Marine Environmental Protection Law, and Law on the Prevention and Control of Water Pollution underscore the government's steadfast commitment to addressing water pollution and safeguarding aquatic ecosystems. The establishment of protection zones for important fisheries waters, PZIFW, exemplifies China's proactive approach to preserving water quality, imposing strict regulations on pollution discharge within designated zones to mitigate potential harm to marine habitats. Moreover, the empowerment of the Fisheries Department to supervise and regulate pollution prevention and control signifies the government's resolve to enforce environmental safeguards effectively. By implementing robust oversight mechanisms, China aims to uphold industry accountability and ensure compliance with environmental regulations, thereby mitigating the adverse impacts of aquaculture activities on aquatic habitats. The original rafts and cages have been replaced with plaster ones, which are more durable and stable in rough waters. International collaboration and alignment with global standards play a pivotal role in shaping sustainable fish farming practices in China. Non-governmental organizations, NGOs, such as the Environmental Defense Fund, EDF, collaborate closely with Chinese industry players and international corporations to promote economic savings while advancing environmental sustainability. Initiatives focused on technology transfer and fisheries management foster cooperation between the U.S. and China, highlighting the global significance of sustainable aquaculture practices in addressing food and water insecurity. Furthermore, advocacy efforts by international food companies contribute to the enforcement of laws and regulations in China. ushering in modern techniques and enhanced testing methods that bolster food safety systems and promote responsible production practices on a global scale. In recent times, the trajectory of Chinese fish farming towards sustainability has been marked by concerted efforts across multiple fronts. Through certification programs, legislative measures, and international collaborations, China is charting a course towards environmentally responsible aquaculture practices that not only meet the demands of today but also safeguard the resources for generations to come. With China's efforts in sustainable aquaculture setting a new precedent, how does it stack up against the rest of the world's fish farming practices? And what can we learn from comparing these global approaches to ensure a sustainable future for all? Join us as we dive deeper into the world of aquaculture. Taking fish out of the ocean to turn it into an aquaculture diet. In this comparative analysis, we embark on a journey to explore the nuances of fish farming practices, 
drawing comparisons between China and other prominent aquaculture nations. Through a comprehensive examination of techniques, technologies, regulatory frameworks, environmental considerations, production scale, species diversity, market dynamics, and sustainability initiatives, we aim to unravel the complexities underlying China's dominance in fish farming and how it aligns with global approaches in the aquaculture sector. In China, aquaculture has witnessed rapid evolution driven by the widespread adoption of various operating systems, the establishment of commercial fish bases, and the implementation of large-scale intensive and high-yield aquaculture technologies. These advancements underscore China's commitment to innovation and efficiency in fish farming practices. On a global scale, leading aquaculture nations have also embraced cutting-edge techniques such as recirculating aquaculture systems and bioengineering technology to foster sustainable development in fishery enhancement and aquaculture. These technological innovations represent a shared commitment to harnessing science and technology for the advancement of the aquaculture industry worldwide. China has prioritized pond condition enhancement and culture technique optimization to safeguard natural resources while promoting sustainable aquaculture practices. Additionally, the adoption of cage and pen culture in suitable water bodies reflects China's proactive approach to balancing economic development with environmental conservation. Similarly, other prominent aquaculture nations have implemented specific legal systems and support mechanisms for fish breeding, fry supply, and disease control to ensure the sustainable development of aquaculture. These regulatory frameworks underscore a collective commitment to responsible stewardship of aquatic resources and environmental protection. The feeding can be solved in the coming year. China's aquaculture sector has experienced exponential growth, surpassing fish capture landings and focusing on cultivating a diverse range of species such as grouper, large yellow croaker, giant river prawn, and white shrimp. This emphasis on species diversity highlights China's ability to adapt to market demands and capitalize on emerging trends in aquaculture. Conversely, other countries have concentrated on farming species like sturgeon, Atlantic salmon, rainbow trout, European eel, and Nile tilapia, reflecting regional preferences and market dynamics. Despite variations in species selection, the overarching goal remains to meet global demand for high-quality seafood products through sustainable aquaculture practices. China's significant contribution to global food security, despite limited arable land, underscores the pivotal role of fisheries higher than the sustainable state of the world seas and oceans, particularly aquaculture, in meeting nutritional needs. This emphasis on aquaculture reflects China's strategic approach to food production and resource management in the face of land constraints. Similarly, the global aquaculture industry has prioritized environmental sustainability and climate change adaptation through the promotion of sustainable aquaculture practices. By embracing eco-friendly solutions and advocating for responsible resource management, the industry aims to mitigate environmental impacts and ensure long-term viability. These waters here are very productive fishing grounds of Sierra Leone. China's remarkable progress in aquaculture serves as a testament to the importance of maximizing ecological and economic efficiency for sustainable development. Valuable lessons can be gleaned from China's experience, including the promotion of polyculture and multi-species applications, which offer opportunities for diversification and the production of high-quality seafood products. A lot of younger people are eating fish mob because it reminds them of... Furthermore, cross-border collaboration presents an avenue for sharing knowledge, advancing sustainable aquaculture practices, and developing innovative market strategies. By leveraging collective expertise and fostering partnerships, the global aquaculture industry can navigate challenges, capitalize on opportunities, and drive positive change on a global scale. In conclusion, this comparative analysis sheds light on the multifaceted nature of fish farming practices, highlighting the unique approaches adopted by China and other leading aquaculture nations. Through collaboration, innovation, and a shared commitment to sustainability, the aquaculture industry can chart a course towards a more resilient, equitable, and environmentally responsible future.